You who call me master, and so I am, do you realize what I have done to you? What I have done to you, do it to one another. I have been a mother for you, so that you will do to each other what I have done for you. Tonight is the most beautiful night of all nights. Although we begin that horrible evening when Jesus was betrayed, and the long night of betrayal lead to the preservation, crowning with thorns, and also lead him to the road to Calvary, to be nailed on the hill of Calvary. Tonight we come together to celebrate the great institution of the Holy Eucharist. And as in the first reading today, we come to know that God gave instructions to Moses how and when to celebrate the Passover. They have to take a lamb on your own. They have to keep it to a certain month. has to be without no blemish. They have to kill it on the 14th. They have to roast it. And they have to eat it standing with the staff in their hands and they're ready for the, ready, ready for the, for the journey. And then also identify them by saying to them, and before you do so, I want you to take some of the blood and put it on the, on the, on the lantern of your, of your door, doorpost. So when the angel of, of, of death comes tonight, he will pass you by. Because this is the night of the Lord. This is the Passover of the Lord. And then from there we go in the second reading today and we see that the everlasting covenant was established with us when St. Paul said to us as he was instructed by the Lord himself what the Lord did on that night of betrayal when he was around the, with the, around the, the 11 disciples how he take the bread, how he broke it, how he pronounced the blessing and gave it to them and said, this is my body, which will be given up for you. At the end of the meal, he took the cup, filled with wine. After he did the blessing, he said, this is my blood, which will be poured for, for you. Whenever you do this, you do it in memory of me. So here we are on the day of betrayal, and Jesus is thinking of you and me. This is my body, which will be given. This is my blood, which will be shed for you. We are about to betray him, and he found a way how to stay with us. And you tell me that is not love. That is the true love. When he was about to be given in the hands of enemies, First, he was to be given in the hands of his friends. And whenever his friends come together and celebrate this great mystery, they celebrate, as St. Paul said, the dying and the rising of Jesus. But tonight I would like to concentrate my few words on the Gospel. Because many times, you know, we have a little clue of what really the priesthood is all about. What is a priest? A priest is Alter Christus, another Christ. With all our limitations, with all our, as we say, different background that we have, and with all, all our weaknesses, God still using us to bring forth his very proclamation of the good news make himself present on, on the altars and also with that same ministry that he gave to his son and his son gave it to his disciples by succession they continue to forgive sins. I consider a priest as a builder. A builder when he goes in a field he has to rip everything that is in front of him. Whether it is soil whether it is stone, and he has to put down, very down the foundations. And he's not going to be afraid of 
spending money or doing anything that is costly because he wants to have a solid house. And then he began, after he formed the foundation, he began to build. And that takes time. And that takes hardship. And that takes money. And that takes even, hard, even um, uh, sometimes even uh, take away from your pleasures and things that you like to do. Because you cannot do this and do the opposite and do the other things too. So I consider the priest as a builder. He has to put down, but he has also to build. And to build on a foundation that's not made by him, but Jesus Christ. So when he built, he has to build on the teaching of Jesus. He has to do according to the teaching of the church. Because he was ordained not for himself, but he was ordained for the church. He was ordained to serve. And so, as St. Paul said, every one of us are going to build, and all of us are going to use different material. Some are going to use gold, some are going to use silver, wood, iron, um, clay, even straw. But at the end, we are going to be accountable. A priest is a gift from God. A gift from God to a community so that he will build them. And the first thing he has to do is to build them in the Word of God. He has to insist that the Word of God will be their foundation. Because every time that we have a problem, and every time that we have a situation, we have to go to the Word. And the Word will guide you. And the Word will lead you to do the right thing. But today Jesus taught us that the priest is a servant. 